Top 10 Things to Do in Singapore Although compact in size, it is packed to the gills with exciting discoveries around every corner. The city is a popular vacation spot for the well-to-do, but it is also fondly called the second home by those of more modest means. Despite being surrounded by contemporary architectural marvels, historic shop houses and pre-war building holds their own, there are a variety of culinary options from high-end restaurants to street food vendors. Luxury goods can be purchased at upscale boutiques, while bargains can be found at outdoor markets. So basically, you can't be bored in Singapore. Our video of the top 10 things to do in Singapore demonstrates the variety of Singapore's tourist offerings. You can do whatever strikes your fancy, or you can try something completely new. You get to decide. Number 10. Visit Singapore's Superb Museums Thanks to its growing number of innovative cultural institutions, Singapore is currently on par with the world's best museum cities. Top attractions include the National Museum Singapore, which recounts Singapore's history, at the National Gallery Singapore, which has the greatest public collection of Singaporean and Southeast Asian art in the world. The Peranakan Museum is devoted to the history and culture of the people who descended from the mingling of Chinese and Malay cultures. And the Shangi Museum and Chapel tells the experiences of prisoners and citizens who were held in Shangi Prison during the Japanese occupation of Singapore. Number 9. Spend a Day in Sentosa Often referred to as Asia's favorite playground, Sentosa Island is a popular tourist destination in the region. It's a great island resort for relaxation and enjoyment because of its proximity to the city, 15 minutes away, and its fascinating attractions. After World War II, the island's strategic location made it ideal for use as military base, a role it had already played in the 19th century. Fort Siloso is still around today, although it now serves as a museum showcasing antique weapons and artifacts from past wars. Sentosa Island is a massive amusement park with several exciting things to do. The ride on the cable car from the mainland to Sentosa is an exciting part of the journey in and of itself. Sentosa Island is home to numerous attractions, including beautiful beaches and lush woods that are sure to please guests of all ages. Visit Resorts World Singapore, Universal Studios Singapore, and the SEA Aquarium, as well as the city's tallest Merlion statue. Sentosa Island is so exciting, you won't remember what boring was like. Number 8 Tour Singapore's Iconic Gardens Singapore is home to a wide variety of beautiful parks and gardens. Make sure to include the two most famous ones on your list. Singapore Botanic Gardens, established in 1860, span an impressive 82 acres and are home to numerous themed gardens, such as the Ginger Garden, which features more than 550 kinds. The property is home to the spectacular National Orchid Garden, as well as the Gallup Extension, which has a fantastic botanical art exhibit. Gardens by the Bay, located in Marina Bay, is an even larger enchanted garden full of futuristic super trees, fancy full sculptures, and foggy biodomes. Twice nightly, the super trees light up for the garden's rhapsody show. Number 7. Explore Downtown Singapore on a Boom Boat A boom boat in Singapore is a water taxi or speedboat used for short trips or scenic river cruises. They saw the danger ahead by painting eyes and faces on their skiffs. In Singapore, you can choose between Singapore River Cruise and Singapore River Explorer, both of which provide bumboat services. They go similarly making stops at the Esplanade, Boat Quay, Clark Quay, Klimas Koo, and Robertson Quay. 
The best and quickest way to experience the beautiful vistas of downtown Singapore is on a bumboat cruise along the Singapore River. Sit back on the deck and take in the scenery as the boat cruises along the river. Arrive late in the day to enjoy the waterfront both during the day and at night. Taking a bum boat ride at night is a fantastic way to see Marina Bay's incredible light show from a new and exciting perspective. Number 6. Dive into Singapore's nightlife. Singapore is a terrific place to go out on the town thanks to its growing number of nightlife options. From seductive rooftop bars to spooky hidden speakeasies, throbbing nightclubs, relaxing craft beer bars, and pleasant temperatures all year round. Even though Singapore's greatest bars can be located all over the city, a good number of them can be found in Chinatown, making it an ideal site to begin your night out. And if you don't try a Singapore sling at Raffles Iconics Long Bar, you can just say you've been to Singapore. Maybe not. Most people will probably agree that the less sugary 2019 version of the national drink is an improvement over the original ultra sweet version. Number 5 Stroll Along Marina Bay Waterfront Promenade. The Marina Bay Waterfront Promenade, as the name suggests, is a 3.5 kilometer long walkway that stretches along the bay and connects numerous points of interest in Marina Center, Kolair Kwai and the Bayfront. The promenade was built to be an eco-friendly place for strolls. There are mist sprays and wind shelters with motion sensor fans for tourists to cool off in while strolling the perimeter of the Marina Bay. Marina Bay in Singapore is an amazing natural site with the glittering skyscrapers and one-of-a-kind structures dotting the bay. Tourists and residents alike may get a good look at the bay from the promenade. The space doubles as an audience for public activities of all kinds. A wide variety of enjoyable and free bayside activities may be found at the Marina Bay Waterfront Promenade. Kids will enjoy playing in the fountain. As a couple, you can enjoy a stroll with a picture-perfect backdrop. At the lower boardwalk, held cautious individuals can hold outdoor yoga sessions and everybody can gather at the bayfront to watch the sun go down. Waterfront venues frequently host open-air concerts for no cover at all. Number 4. Escape to the Island of Pulau Ubin This rustic island retreat, located between Singapore and Peninsular Malaysia, provides a glimpse into the Kampong village life of early Singapore. Take a bum boat motorized sampan from Shangi to Pulau Ubin, a quiet island where you may rent bicycles and explore on your own time. Enjoy a simple seafood supper by the water after pedaling by ancient mangroves, wetlands, lotus-filled lakes, tin roof shacks, and dilapidated temples. Number 3. Go clubbing at Clark Quay. Nightlife in Singapore revolves around Clark Quay. When the sun goes down, Clark Quay becomes a pulsating nightlife district. The second governor of Singapore, Sir Andrew Clark, was honored with the naming of this historic riverfront district. Commercial items from the neighboring Boat Quay were housed in the warehouses along the quay. The once dormant docks on Singapore's western coast are now a bustling nightlife district thanks to the adaptive reuse of the ancient warehouses into a bar and restaurant clusters. Given its riverside setting, Clark Quay is an ideal place to relax after a day of sightseeing in Singapore. A breath of fresh air from the river helps to enliven the bustling nightlife. Clark Quay has something for everyone, from fashionable dance clubs and live music bars to beer taverns. 
work up a sweat on the dance floor and strike up a conversation with the bartenders or take your drink outside to enjoy it by the river under the stars. Number 2. Splurge on a stay in a luxury hotel Singapore is one home to some of the world's most renowned five-star hotels, including historic landmarks as well as cutting-edge establishments like the Marina Bay Sands, which boasts the largest rooftop infinity pool in the world. Therefore, if you are seeking to indulge, here is a fantastic location to do so. After an extensive refurbishment, Raffles Singapore reopened in 2019, bringing with it all the glitz of the city in the 19th century, while also providing guests with all of the modern conveniences they've come to expect. The Pack Royale and Pickering combines nature and elegance with cutting-edge ecological initiatives, and the Warehouse Hotel has created a historic riverbank warehouse for the experimental modern traveler. Number 1. Visit Jurong Bird Park It was Singapore's first wildlife park, and it's the largest of its kind in Asia. Jurong Bird Park, more than 5,000 birds, make their home in its 20 hectares of lush vegetation on Jurong Hill. Wildlife Reserve Singapore has been in charge of the park since it first opened it to the public in 1971. The opportunity to get up close and personal with 400 different species of birds in a setting that more closely mimics their native habitat can only be found at Yurong Bird Park, featuring 600 free-flying birds and a 30-meter waterfall Waterfall aviary is the largest aviary in the park. The birds of Asia can be seen in Wings of Asia. Among the 500 bird species that call this area home are many that are at risk of extinction, like the black winged starling, the Bali mina, and the loosen bleeding hard dove. Lorries can be found and fueled at the nine story lorry loft. The aesthetic of the Australian outback has been included in the loft's design. To go to all of the birds' feeders at the aviary, you'll need to traverse a few bridges high in the air. Journey to Antarctica by way of the Penguin Coast, adorable penguins can be seen swimming and waddling around in the ice and water in the indoor temperature controlled area. Check out the sights and get some background on conservation and breeding at the Institute. Despite its reputation as one of the world's priciest metropolises, Singapore has won several awards for being among the best planned, cleanest, and even most entertaining cities in the world. As I said, you can't be bored in a place like this.